in today's video, we're going to look at the process to delete an entire tenant, uh, which means deleting the contents inside of that tenant first. So here we have a tenant called existing tenant, and I want to delete it right now. You'll notice that there is a delete option next to it from the actions menu, but if I click on it, it's going to tell me that it cannot be deleted because there is one session host pool inside of this tenant, and that's something we have to delete first. So we're gonna click on the tenant and see that in fact, there is a host pool called virtual desktops. And if we try to delete this host pool, we'll notice that it will not let us do that either because it says that there are four session hosts inside of this host pool that have to be deleted first. If we click on manage hosts, we see that four session hosts in fact do exist. And from the dropdown next to each session host, we do have this delete option and we have to type in confirm all in uppercase in order to delete this uh, session host. What you'll notice up here is there is an option that says do not unjoin VM from Active Directory. So during the delete process, the system will perform an orderly removal of this VM and session host from the environment. An orderly removal includes uh, removing the VM from the WVD host pool registration. So it will unregister it from the virtual desktops host pool so that it's not an orphaned um, object. It will also unjoin the VM from the Active Directory domain by using an Azure extension on that VM. Now, in order to do that, to unjoin it from the domain, the VM has to be running and it has to be in a functional state where it, the extension can actually be applied to it. Now imagine you have a situation where the VM isn't booting or it's broken in some way and you cannot power it on and assign an extension to it which will disjoin it from the domain. In that case, you would use this option to skip the unjoined process. So in that case, it will still remove it from WVD and it will still delete the VM object in Azure Resource Manager, but it will not attempt to unjoin it from the domain. So in our case, these are healthy VMs. We should be able to remove them from the domain. We're going to type confirm and click OK. And we are going to do that on each and every one of these VMs. So we have to do that four times. Uh, it is intentionally not possible to delete all the VMs uh, with a single action just to pre prevent some destructive um, automated action here. And as these are being removed, if we click on details, we can actually see what's happening. So the first thing that happened is it was removed from WVD. It is now preparing to remove the VM itself. There's some tags that are gonna be added to it so the system knows that it's in the removal process. And in just a few minutes, these VMs will be disjoined from the domain, removed from Azure. Their disks will be cleaned up. Their network cards will be cleaned up everything will be fully cleaned up, and then we will be able to delete the host pool and the WVD tenant. Now that the session host VMs uh, have been deleted, we're gonna click back, go to delete on the host pool, type in confirm and click okay. This is going to delete the host pool. And then once the host pool is deleted, we can click back again and now delete the existing tenant, WVD tenant as well and that tenant is gone too. So this is how you delete session hosts, host pools, and tenants using the Nerdio Manager for WVD. See you next time.